वेलकम टू द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ टेंथ महाराष्ट्र स्टेट बोर्ड न्यू सिलेबस जोग्राफी चैप्टर चैप्टर थ्री इज फिजियोग्राफी एंड ड्रेनेज सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द फिजियोग्राफी एंड ड्रेनेज ऑफ ब्राजील एंड इंडिया सो फिजियोग्राफी मीन्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंट लैंड फॉर्म्स डेट आर अवेलेबल इन द कंट्री सो एक कंट्री में कौन कौन से अलग अलग लैंड फॉर्म्स मिलते हैं जैसे माउंटेन्स कहाँ है प्लेटूज कहाँ है प्लेन्स कहाँ है आइलैंड्स कहाँ है और ड्रेनेज मीन्स रिवर्स और लेक्स डेट आर फाउंड इन दैट कंट्री सो विल सी हाउ आर द डिफरेंट लैंड फॉर्म्स डेट आर फाउंड इन इंडिया एंड ब्राजील and what are the different river system that are found in uh, india and brazil so let us begin with india's physiography first so if you see this map of india here you are seeing different different shades so ye shades resemble karta hai height of the area or altitude of the area ye yahan jo grayish region hai ye jo grayish gray region hai yahan world ke sabse top most peaks hai so yahan ka jo height hai grayish region ka height hai it is more than 8000 meters ye jo reddish part hai iska height hai more than 6000 meters and here we are having yellow region or the plateau region where the height is more 200 meters or and we are having some area that is sea level ye jo niche ka green region hai that is near sea level so we are having different different types of region in this world, in the in the india so we are having mountains we are having plateaus we are having we are having plains we are having desert we are having coastal plains we are having uh, islands in india So let us see, see what are the different physiographic divisions of India and what are the different characteristics of that physical division. See, uh, if you see physiographic division of India, so we are having uh, Himalayan mountains in the north. We are having northern plains here. We are having uh, Great Indian Desert here. We are having plateau region or peninsula region here. Here we are having coastal plain. ये जो yellowish region है, ये peninsula region है, या plateau region है. और ये जो ग्रीनिश रीजन है दैट इज प्लेन और कोस्टल प्लेन ऑफ इंडिया गार्ड्स यर वी आर हैविंग ईस्टर्न गार्ड्स यर वी आर हैविंग माउंटेन्स कॉल्ड एज सतपुड़ा विंध्यास यर वी आर हैविंग हिमालयन माउंटेन यर वी आर हैविंग आरवली माउंटेन यर वी आर हैविंग थार डेजर्ट और वी आर ऑल्सो कॉलिंग इट एज मरुस्थली दिस आर द वेरियस डिविजन ऑफ दिस इज द मॉडल ऑफ अ माउंटेन अगर ये माउंटेन रीजन है माउंटेन के एक तरफ कुछ रिवर्स फ्लो करते हैं माउंटेन की दूसरी तरफ कुछ रिवर फ्लो करते हैं माउंटेन इज डिवाइडिंग द वॉटर सो यहाँ जो वॉटर आता है और यहाँ वॉटर आता है इट इज डिवाइडिंग दॉटर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड देर आर वेरियस माउंटेन्स इन इंडिया लाइक आरवली माउंटेन लाइक वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स ईस्टर्न गार्ड विंध्या माउंटेन दैट आर एक्टिंग एज अ वॉटर डिवाइड सो विंध्या माउंटेन्स के इस तरफ कुछ रिवर्स आते हैं इस तरफ कुछ रिवर्स आते हैं वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स के इस तरफ कुछ रिवर्स आते हैं इस तरफ रिवर आते हैं तो दैट आर दिस माउंटेन्स आर एक्टिंग एज अ वॉटर so in which uh, the first question here that is given is in which direction does the region with an altitude more than 6000 meter lie so it is lying in the northern region northern part of region northern part of india look at the so in which re region is the slope of the region in the north shown in the dark green so slope of the region uh, the the direction of the slope of the region to the north yahan ka jo direction hai ye dark green ka region direction it is towards the north yahan agar rivers hai to north ki taraf flow karti hai is taraf flow karti hai यहाँ के जो रिवर्स है ये यहाँ के जो रिवर्स है तो ऐसे फ्लो करते हैं जैसे अगर दिल्ली से रिवर स्टार्ट हो रही है तो वे ऑफ बंगाल की तरफ जाएगी यहाँ के जो रिवर्स है नॉर्थ की तरफ जाते हैं नॉर्थ की तरफ जाते हैं तो स्लोप इस तरफ है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ प्लेटूज लोकेटेड बिटवीन आरवली रेंजेस एंड छोटा नागपुर प्लेटू सो यर वी आर हैविंग आरवली रेंजेस एंड यर वी आर हैविंग छोटा नागपुर प्लेटू तो छोटा नागपुर प्लेटू आरवली के बीच में कौन से प्लाटू कौन से प्लाटूज है सो यर वी आर हैविंग मालवा प्लाटू बुंदेलखंड प्लाटू एंड बागेलखंड प्लाटू दिस आर द्री प्लाट दिस आर द थ्री प्लाटू रीजन दैट आर बिटवीन आरवली रेंजेस एंड छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू सो छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू एंड आरवली रेंजेस आर हैविंग थ्री प्लाटूज मालवा प्लाटू बुंदेलखंड प्लाटू एंड बागेलखंड प्लाटू एंड विच माउंटेन डीमार्केट द डीप प्लेन ऑफ ब्रह्मपुत्रा सो माउंटेन डीमार्केट डीप प्लेन ऑफ ब्रह्मपुत्रा आर पूर्वांचल माउंटेन गारो खासी जेंटिया ये हिल्स है ये डिवाइड करते हैं उस रीजन को दैट आर कॉल एज पूर्वांचल माउंटेन्स ऑल्सो so relatively location of nilgiri hills so nilgiri hills are located here so the year we are having nilgiri hills and next is uh, in which direction does the height of the sayadri hills rise increase so sayadri ka height south ki taraf increase hota hai as we go southern and southern and southern region north se south ki taraf agar sayadri se aayenge to south ki taraf height jyada hai vindhya act as a the physiographic divisions of brazil now so brazil ke ek taraf ocean hai दूसरे तरफ लैंड है दूसरे कंट्रीज सो यर वी आर हैविंग अटलांटिक ओशन 
and here we are having Guena Highland or Guena Plateau type region. So Guena Highland. Here we are having Amazon River Basin. Amazon River Basin is a region in from which Amazon River is flowing. Here we are having Blazerian Highland. Here we are having Great Escarpment. Here we are having Pampas or Pantalal. Pantalal. So these are the different uh, physiographic divisions. So see, as we have seen in India, in India we are having some regions that are that has height more than eight thousand meters. Eight thousand meters से भी ज़्यादा height है. But if you see the Brazil, if you see the physiographic divisions of Brazil or physiographic uh, conditions of Brazil, their maximum height is thousand meters. So thousand meters के ऊपर या ऊँचा कोई जगह नहीं है Brazil में. So it is having low lying area. There there are no taller taller mountains in brazil there are very uh, very low lying hills see now let us see what is the physiographic divisions of india there are five physiographic divisions of india first is himalayas second is northern indian plains third is peninsula or plateau region and fourth is coastal plain and fifth is island group now for let's let us talk with himalaya first himalayas is one of the young fold mountains in the world the himalayan extend from pamir not to uh, in tajikistan to to the east see if you see the himalayan mountain himalayas are starting from here and ending from kashmir to arunachal pradesh we are having himalayas so himalayas ek arc hai circle ke arc jaisa hai ye nepal aur bhutan se bhi himalaya pass hota hai as this is india's map so yahan india ka hi himalaya ke bare mein diya hua hai here there is country called as tajikistan from tajikistan there is a knot there is a mountain called as pamir knot and here we are having a mountain called as namcha barwa so from pamir knot to namcha barwa ye ek do himalayan mountain ko ek clip ek pin ki jaisa attach karke rakhte hai so it is there this pamir knot and namcha barwa are acting as a pin that are fixing himalayas so himalayas is act like acting like a arc it is like a arc himalayas are from jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh so from arunachal pradesh to jammu kashmir we are having himalayas see if you see the himalayas is one of the young fold mountains in the world last year we have studied about himalayas himalayas is one of the young fold mountains in the world it extends from jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh the himalayas is not a single mountain range there are many parallel ranges in system so himalayas ka ek mountain range hai jaise hum jammu kashmir se start hua aur arunachal mein end hua aisa ek mountain range hai it is like a range kuch mountain range chhota height hai kuch mountain range ka bada height hai kuch mountain range ka bahut bada height hai सबसे बड़ा माउंटेन रेंज है उसका नाम है हिमाद्री और अपर हिमालयास उसके बीच में जो माउंटेन रेंज है जटर कॉल्ड एस ग्रेटर हिमालयास और सबसे छोटा है जटर शिवालिक शिवालिक आर यंगर ऑफ द ऑल थ्री सबसे यंगर है शिवालिक सो सो देर आर थ्री पैरल रेंजेस इन द साउथ द सदर मोस्ट इज कॉल्ड एस शिवालिक सबसे छोटा है और सबसे सदर मोस्ट इज दट इज कॉल्ड एस शिवालिक इट इज द यंगर्स रेंज नेक्स्ट टू द शिवालिक्स आर लेसर हिमालयास अब शिवालिक वी आर हैविंग लेसर हिमालयास एंड सबसे ग्रेटेस्ट है ग्रेटर हिमालयास और सबसे टॉलेस्ट है ग्रेटर हिमालयस और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल एज हिमाद्री अब दैट अब हिमालयस वी आर हैविंग ट्रांस हिमालयस काराकोरम रेंजेस आर पार्ट ऑफ ट्रांस हिमालयस फ्रॉम साउथ टू नॉर्थ सो रेंजेस आर यंग टू ओल्ड रेस्पेक्टिवली सबसे यंग है शिवालिक एंड सबसे ओल्ड है ट्रांस हिमालयस और हिमाद्री एंड द माउंटेन रेंजेस आर डिवाइडेड इन टू वेस्टर्न हिमालयस कश्मीर में जो हिमालयस है जैटर कॉल्ड एज वेस्टर्न हिमालयस सो इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कश्मीर हिमालयस In central region, in Uttarakhand, in Himachal Pradesh, we are having Himalayas that are called as Kumon Himalayas. In the eastern part or in the Assam, we are calling the Himalayan ranges as Assam Himalayas. Next is Northern Plain, the land lying between Himalayas and Plateau region or Peninsula region. Himalayas north में है और Plateau region south में है. उसके बीच में जो land है, that is called as plains. Plains are also divided between different parts. So Ganga River ने जो plain बनाया, that is called as Ganga Plain. गंगा रिवर जब भी फ्लो करता है वो अपने साथ सैंड सेडिमेंट रॉक डिपॉजिट करता है जब भी डिपॉजिशन बार बार हर साल बढ़ जाता है तो वहाँ प्लेन बन जाते हैं सो दैट इज गंगा प्लेन ब्रह्मपुत्रा रिवर ने जो प्लेन बनाया दैट इज कॉल एज ब्रह्मपुत्रा प्लेन इन पंजाब वी आर हैविंग सतलज रिवर एंड इट ट्रिब्यूटरीज दैट आर मेड अ प्लेन दैट इज कॉल एज पंजाब प्लेन सो प्लेन्स आर डिवाइडेड इंटू टू पार्ट ये अरवली रेंजेस आर एक्टिंग एज अ बाउंड्री सो यर वी आर हैविंग वन पार्ट एंड यर वी आर हैविंग वन पार्ट सो गंगा प्लेन आर लोकेटेड हियर and other plains local are located here so aravalli ranges are acting as a boundary between that plains uh so we are having uh, northern plains are divided into two parts the north the part lying to the east of aravalli is and the basin of river ganga and therefore known as ganga plains it slopes each word so ye ganga plains hai ye east ki taraf slope karta hai slope east ki taraf hai east ki taraf means it is like it is near bay of bengal so uh, delhi is at higher position and bay of bengal is at lower position so delhi higher position hai bengal lower position hai to waisa slope hai 
most of the west bengal west bengal state of india and bangladesh together constitute delta region of ganga brahmaputra system it is known as sundarbans there are trees called as sundri trees sundri trees milte hai ise use sindarban bolte it is considered to be world largest delta so this is the photograph of delta so this blackish region or black region is land and this white region is water or river so ye river ke deposit karte karne ke baad ya land ban gaya so this is this is the delta this is sundarban delta sundarban delta is formed because of the deposition of ganga river and brahmaputra river sundarban delta is in bangladesh and west bengal state of india the western part of northern plains is occupied by desert so in rajasthan the plains are called as thar desert or marusthali most of the rajasthan is occupied by desert the northern the desert lies to the uh, northern to the desert lies to the plains of punjab the region is spread to the west of aravallis and delhi ranges these plains are formed as a result of depositional work by satluj river so satluj river ke deposition ki wajah se punjab plains banaye and its tributaries the slope of the plains is towards west so hum, humne dekha ki ganga plains ka slope east ki taraf hai so ganga se agar delhi se pani start hoga to ye bengal ki taraf flow karega east ki taraf flow karega अगर पंजाब की बात करेंगे तो पंजाब से जो रिवर फ्लो करते हैं ये ईस्ट की तरफ नहीं आते उत्तर प्रदेश की तरफ नहीं आते दैट आर गोइंग टूवर्ड्स पाकिस्तान सो द स्लोप इज टूवर्ड्स पाकिस्तान और वेस्ट द प्लेन एज फॉर्म द रिजल्ट ऑफ डिपोजिशन बाय सतलज एंड इट स्लोप टूवर्ड द वेस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द सॉइल ईयर इज फर्टाइल एग्रीकल्चर इज लार्जली लार्जली डन ईयर एंड इट इज मोस्ट पॉपुलेटेड एरिया इन अवर कंट्री सबसे ज्यादा एग्रीकल्चर प्लेन्स में होता है गंगा प्लेन और सतलज प्लेन brahmaputra arli plain is region mein hota hai and because of the more agriculture is done it is it is mostly populated area in our country next is peninsula the area lying to the south of north indian plains and tapering towards the indian ocean is called as indian peninsula so if you see the peninsula region it is tapering towards the south yahan broad area hai aur yahan taper kar raha hai yahan pointed part ban raha hai it is tapering towards the indian ocean so it is called as peninsula it is also called as peninsula plateau so it consists of many plateaus and hill ranges the aravallis in the north are the oldest fold mountains here so aravallis are one of the oldest mountains that are found in the world it includes series of plateaus bordering plains vindhya satpuras ranges and center part of hilly regions and western ghats so here we are having vindhya ranges so these are the vindhya ranges these are satpura ranges here western ghats or in maharashtra we are also calling it as sayadri here we are having eastern ghats western ghat ka to sabse टॉलेस्ट पीक है उसका नाम है महेंद्र गिरी यर इट इज महेंद्र गिरी एंड सबसे टॉलेस्ट सबसे टॉलेस्ट पीक है वेस्टर्न वेस्टर्न घाट का इट इज कॉल्ड एज अनायमुड़ी सो अनायमुड़ी इज यर नीलगिरी माउंटेन्स आर लोकेटेड यर इफ यू सी द घाट रीजन और इफ यू सी दिस घाट वेस्टर्न घाट एंड ईस्टर्न घाट वेस्टर्न घाट आर मोर टॉलर वेस्टर्न घाट का हाइट ज्यादा है एज कम्पेयर टू ईस्टर्न घाट और वेस्टर्न घाट कंटिन्यूस है गुजरात से केरला तक वेस्टर्न घाट कंटिन्यूस है बट इफ यू की सी दिस पार्ट दिस इज नॉट कंटिन्यूस यहाँ एक माउंटेन है यहाँ बीच में ब्रेक है यहाँ वापस माउंटेन है यहाँ बीच में ब्रेक है यहाँ वापस माउंटेन है सो इट इज नॉट कंटिन्यूस ईस्टर्न घाट इज नॉट कंटिन्यूस बट विथ इज मोर यहाँ कोस्टल प्लेन्स का विथ ज्यादा है यहाँ कोस्टल प्लेन्स का विथ कम है देन विंध्या सतपुड़ा एंड सेंटर पार्ट ऑफ हिली रीजन एंड वेस्टर्न घाट एंड ईस्टर्न घाट सो डेटर पार्ट ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट एंड ईस्टर्न घाट so if you coastal plains now india is blessed with long coastland extending for approximately 7500 km 7500 km long coastland in india ka it uh, uh, it extending from approximately 7500 km it lies to the western and eastern part of peninsula so we have seen western part mein bhi india ke mountain uh, sorry sea hai aur eastern part mein bhi sea hai sea ke paas jo land hai that is called as coastal land or coastal region or coastal plains इन द वेस्टर्न एंड ईस्टर्न पार्ट सो रिमार्केबल डिसिमिलरिटीज वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन अलग है ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन अलग है वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन का विथ कम है ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन का विथ ज्यादा है दिस इज डेल्टा सो वेन रिवर्स आर फ्लोइंग वेर रिवर्स आर लॉन्ग रिवर्स सो रिवर्स आर ब्रिंगिंग लॉट्स ऑफ सैंड एंड सेडिमेंट्स अलॉन्ग विद इज लॉक्स रॉक्स ऑफ रॉक अलॉन्ग विद इट सो ये डिपॉजिट करने के बाद यहाँ छोटे छोटे आईलैंड बन जाते हैं सो यहाँ डेल्टाज बनता है ईस्टर्न साइड के जो प्लेन्स है वो डेल्टास बनाते हैं और वेस्टर्न साइड के जो रिवर्स है जो वेस्ट की तरफ फ्लो करते हैं अरेबियन सी की तरफ फ्लो करते हैं वहाँ ईस्टरीज बनाते हैं सो ईस्टर्न वेस्टर्न घाट के जो रिवर्स है दैट आर मेकिंग ईस्टरीज क्योंकि रिवर के पास ज्यादा टाइम नहीं होता है रिवर बहुत फास्ट फ्लो करता है फास्ट फ्लो करने के बाद यहाँ क्रीक बन जाता है इट इज लाइक अ क्रीक सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज ईस्टरीज और वेस्टर्न साइड के जो रिवर्स है दैट आर वेरी शॉर्ट रिवर्स दैट आर वेरी फास्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर्स 
ईस्टर्न साइड के जो रिवर्स है डाटर वेरी स्लो फ्लोइंग रिवर्स ये जब ये रिवर्स सी के पास आते हैं तो ये लगून्स बनाते हैं लगून्स मीन्स ये में यहाँ एक यहाँ एक सैंड का एक एक डैम जैसे बन जाता है सो इट इज सो इट इज डिवाइडिंग दिस रीजन सो इट इज लाइक अ लगून और इट इज डिवाइडिंग दिस रीजन द वेस्टर्न कोस्टल कोस्ट बॉर्डर द अरेबियन सी एंड इट इज बाय एंड लार्ज रॉकी सॉर्ट रॉकी कोस्ट सो इट इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ रॉक एट प्लेसेस फर्स टेकिंग ऑफ द वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स हैव एक्सटेंडेड राइट टू द कोस्ट वेस्टर्न गार्ड्स के कुछ माउंटेन्स है ये कोस्ट तक चले गए हैं कोस्ट तक एंड कोस्ट में एंड हो गए हैं then it is width is also less so as we have seen in the map also western coastal plains ka width kam hai eastern coastal plains ka width bahut zyada hai rivers originating from western ghats are short and swift and hence they form estuaries and not deltas as the rivers are very fast flowing rivers so river fast flow karte hai to apne sath sand sediment zyada nahi le pate so they are forming estuaries and western ghats ke jo rivers hai that are forming estuaries eastern ghats ke jo rivers hai that are forming deltas The eastern coastal uh, coast borders the Bay of Bengal, and it has formed the result of depositional works of river. There are many rivers like Ganga, uh, sorry, the Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, Mahanadi. That rivers have brought sand, sediment, rock along with it. So, ये sand, sediment जैसे deposit करते जाते हैं, वहाँ plain बनता है. So, eastern coastal plains are formed become that formed because of depositional works of rivers. Many east flowing rivers using the western and eastern ghats meet this coast because of the gentle slope of land. river flow at low velocities and uh, de and deposit the sediments through them at the coast see if you see the slope of the land here the slope of the land is gentle ki baat karenge ek uh, slide ki baat karenge slide jab hi seedha hoga to wo wo slope steep hota hai western side ka jo western ghats ka jo slope hai ye steep hai to wahan ke jo rivers hai bahut fast flow karte hai lekin eastern side ka eastern ghat eastern plains ka jo slope hai ye ye gentle slope hai तो ये स्लाइड को अगर हम टेढ़ा करेंगे तो ये जेंडर स्लोप होगा तो वहां अगर वाटर हम लीप छोड़ेंगे तो वाटर बहुत स्लो फ्लो करेगा वाटर जैसे स्लो फ्लो फ्लो करेगा तो वो अपने साथ सैंड सेडिमेंट डिपॉजिट करते जाएगा एज इट इज डिपॉजिटिंग देन मोर एंड मोर मोर एंड मोर प्लेन मोर एंड मोर सैंड एंड सेडिमेंट आर डिपॉजिटेड एंड प्लेन आर फॉर्म सो वेस्टर्न साइड का जो प्लेन है दैट इज दैट इज स्टीप स्लोप वेस्टर्न साइड का जो प्लेन है दैट इज हैविंग जेंडर स्लोप Uh, so the velocity of river is less. As the velocity of river is less, it is depositing more and more sand. As a result, as a result, deltas are formed on the coast. So in the eastern coast, we are having deltas. Let, let us talk about island now. India has many small and large islands along the coast of mainland. These are included in the coastal island group. Beside India, has two large groups of island. One, uh, one each of the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. So India के जो coastal region में जो islands हैं, that are part of coastal plains. और जो मेन आइलैंड है दैट आर इन द माउंट इन द सी इन अरेबियन सी वी आर हैविंग लक्षद्वीप आइलैंड इन बे ऑफ बंगाल वी आर हैविंग अंडमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड मोस्ट ऑफ द आइलैंड्स इन लक्षद्वीप आर एट ऑल आइलैंड्स एट ऑल आइलैंड्स मींस एक रिंग जैसा होता है रिंग इज मेड अप ऑफ सैंड और रॉक्स एंड इट इज मेनली मेड अप ऑफ कोरल रीफ्स एंड इन बिटवीन दैट वी आर हैविंग वाटर एंड एंड सराउंडिंग दैट आल्सो हैविंग वाटर सो इट इज जस्ट लाइक अ रिंग ऐसे बहुत सारे आइलैंड्स है so lakshadweep islands are made up of atoll islands also we are having or also we are having andaman nicobar island that are also part of atoll island that are also made up of atoll island but majorly andaman and nicobar island are made because of volcanoes jab bhi volcano erupt karta hai to apne sath rock ya sand sab leke aata hai bahar jab bhi wo cool ho jata hai cool hone ke baad hard form ban jata hai and hard form banne ke baad wo islands ban jate hain in andaman and nicobar island we are having a island called as barren island Barren Island is only active volcano of India. आज भी वो volcano है So Barren Island is only having a volcano in India. Islands in the Arabian group are mainly volcanic islands. They are large with hills in interior part of the includes the island called as Barren Island, which has the only active volcano in India. There are atolls in the Andaman group go so uh, group two. So in the uh, Andaman Nicobar group also we are having atolls. So this is the second part of the The, of the chapter so in the first part we have studied about physiography divi physiographic divisions of india in the second part we will study about physiographic divisions of brazil so in the first part we saw that in india there are some places or there are some mountains that are about 6000 meters like uh, himalayan mountain but uh, there are also pl plateaus in india we are having peninsula region in india or we are having plains in india we are having islands in india like andaman and nicobar island so in this chapter or in this part we will study about physiographic divisions of brazil So if you see Brazil, there are highlands in Brazil. Highlands are just like plateau region. Or we are having plains here. Amazon basin is a plain area. 
or we are having brazilian highland here we are having great escarpment there but if you see the height of the brazil it is not more than 1000 meters or around 1000 to 2000 meters so highest part highest altitude of brazil is up to 2000 meters sabse zyada uncha jagah brazil mein 2000 3000 meters hai usse koi jagah zyada bada jagah nahi hai so as compared to india brazil's altitude are or is less if uh, let us see uh, there is no continuous mountain in brazil like we are having in india like himalayan mountain that are extending from kashmir to arunachal pradesh we are having western ghats eastern ghats or we are having uh, mountains like arauli ranges vindhya satpura ranges there are no major mountain ranges in brazil also you cannot uh, also you cannot see major peaks in brazil so coastal plains are restricted in this expanse so there are no coastal plains there are no wide coastal plains in this country coastal plains be both uh, with come hai coastal plains ka let us see what are the physiographic divisions of brazil the first we are having highland so there are two highlands guiana highland and brazilian highland highland are just like plateau region then here we are having great escarpment this is the region of great escarpment then we are having coastal region coastal region we are having uh, uh, northern atlantic ocean here and southern atlantic ocean so here this, there is a coastal area then we are having plains so plains are between amazon river basin and paraguay river basin here there is a little bit plain area and we are having island group there are some islands that are near the coast sea coast ke paas hai kuch islands aur kuch islands sea mein hai ya atlantic ocean mein first we will talk about highland see southern brazil is occupied by extensive plateau so this is the plateau region ye jo yellowish region dikh raha hai ye plateau region hai it is occupied by extensive plateau it is differently described as brazilian highland or this is the brazilian highland or brazilian shield or brazilian plateau brazilian and guiana highland together form the core of south american continent so this is guiana highland and this is brazilian highland so these two parts are acting as a core of south american continent the main part of guiana highland is in venezuela so here we are having venezuela country and it is extending up to french guiana this is a french guiana country so from venezuela to french guiana there is a we are having guiana highland it is also named after country guiana the uh, it is covers the states of roraima para amapá here we are having amapá regions of or amapá states of brazil so here the three states are there The lower part of the highland is found in Brazil. So here we are having lower part. यहाँ Venezuela और यहाँ French Guiana में higher part है. Height यहाँ ज़्यादा है. यहाँ height कम है. There is a peak here. Peak name is Pico de Neblina. Meter height is three thousand fourteen meters height. This is the highest peak in Brazil. In in India we are having peaks that are more than Seven thousand, more than eight thousand meters. But here the peak is three thousand fourteen meters in height. The name of the peak is Pico de Nebilina. This is the highest peak in Brazil, uh, and lies in the border between Brazil and Venezuela. So it is in, in the border between Brazil and Venezuela. Here we are having Brazil. Here we are having Venezuela. The peak is here. The triangle that is shown here. This is the peak. To the east and south of the Brazilian highland have altitude more than thousand meters. So if you go to Brazilian highland now, so region to the east. and south are having highlands ye jo orange region hai this is the eastern region and southern region here the height is more than 1000 meters but in the other parts the altitude is between 500 to 1000 meters altitude means height so here in the southern part here the in the interior part the height is 500 to 1000 meters the highland gradually slopes towards north and slopes are not very steep agar ye highland ki baat kare to yahan height zyada hai aur iske andar jayenge to height kam hai तो ज्यादा हाइट होता है और जहां एरिया में कम हाइट होता है तो स्लोप ज्यादा से नीचे तक होता है सो so, स्लोप कैसे डिफाइन करेंगे कि ज्यादा हाइट से कम हाइट पे तो वैसा स्लोप होगा सो ब्राजीलियन हाइलैंड का स्लोप यहां से इस तरफ से इस तरफ होगा तो यहां ज्यादा हाइट और इस इंटीरियर पार्ट में कम हाइट सो स्लोप इज फ्रॉम दिस रीजन टू दिस रीजन बट अ स्लोप इज नॉट वेरी स्टीप सीधा स्टीप नहीं होता है स्लोप इफ यू गो टू एनी वॉटर पार्क तो वहां 90 डिग्री जो स्लाइड होता है सीधा स्लाइड होता है उसका स्टोप स्लोप स्टीप होता है सीधा स्लोप होता है जेंटल स्लोप मतलब वहां स्लैंटिंग स्लाइड होगा तो जेंटल स्लोप सो जो भी लैंडफॉर्म का स्लोप सीधा होगा सीधा होगा उसे स्टीप स्लोप बोलते हैं और जो भी स्लैंटिंग होगा तो उसे जेंटल स्लोप बोलते हैं सो यर द लैंडफॉर्म स्लोप इज नॉट स्टीप सीधा हाइट डिक्रीज नहीं हो रहा है कुछ कम 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 लिमिट में हाइट डिक्रीज हो रहा है डिक्रीज हो रहा है Towards the north, the slopes are steep but not abrupt. So, if you go to north of the Brazilian highland, the slopes are steep but not abrupt. Breaks नहीं है, continuous break नहीं है. कुछ time के बाद slope कम 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 होते जा रहा है. तो gentle slope है. The number of rivers take off from the terminal point of highland. 
and flow northward to meet Atlantic Ocean. So there are many rivers that are uh, taking terminal. They are ending here and they are meeting the Atlantic Ocean. Here we are having Atlantic Ocean. Here we are having San Francisco River that is ending, that is going and meeting the Atlantic Ocean. Some major rivers like Uruguay, Paraguay, Parana originate from southern slopes of highlands. So here is the southern slope of highlands. So here we are having Parana River. Here we are having Paraguay River. Here we are having Uruguay River. These rivers are originating from here and they are entering this Uruguay and Argentina also. Uh, the southern slopes of the highlands. So they are originating from southern slopes of highland and they are entering Argentina. Here we are having Argentina. It slopes towards the east is steep and appears in the form of escarpment. So this is the slope of Brazilian highland. Here it is appearing as a escarpment. Escarpment means a sida slope. Hai. Sida slope is the Brazilian, Brazilian jo highland hai, iska end. Hai. Uske baad escarpment. This is the photograph of escarpment of Brazil. Let us see what is the features of escarpment. Now great escarpment. So great escarpment is located trending from this region to this region. So there is a great escarpment of Brazil. Though it occupies the very small area, the nature of its slope and the effect it's, it is having on the climate of Brazil makes very separate physiographic division. See, agar, agar height jada hai, yahan koi mountain hai, aur is taraf se agar monsoon winds are hai, ye jo orange region hai, ye mountain hai, iska height 1000 meters hai. Agar is taraf se monsoon winds are hai, तो माउंटेन उसे बैरियर करके एक्ट करेगा माउंटेन उस मॉनसून विंड्स को रोक देगा और मॉनसून विंड्स वो माउंटेन को माउंटेन को पार करने के लिए मॉनसून विंड्स को राइज करेगा अगर आप इमेजिन करो कि ये एक माउंटेन है दिस इज अ माउंटेन एंड मॉनसून विंड्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन अगर इस डायरेक्शन से मॉनसून विंड्स आ रहे और उनको ये माउंटेन को पार करके उस तरफ जाना है तो मॉनसून विंड्स को बढ़ना पड़ेगा उनको अपना उसको राइज करना पड़ेगा जितना मॉनसून विंड्स जितना क्लाउड्स राइज करेंगे उतना उनका वाटर होल्ड करने का कैपेसिटी कम हो जाएगा तो पूरा वाटर इस तरफ भेज देंगे पूरा वाटर यहां गिरेगा तो यहां ज्यादा रेनफॉल होगा माउंटेन के उस तरफ रेनफॉल कम होगा बिकॉज़ द कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ वाटर इज डिक्रीजिंग एंड द माउंट वाटर इज आल्सो लेस सो दिस रीजन इज गेटिंग मोर रेनफॉल एंड इफ यू गो टू द हाईलैंड रीजन देयर द रेनफॉल इज लेस सो दिस एस्कार्पमेंट इज हैविंग ग्रेट इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस ऑफ ब्राजील See, though it is occupies the very small area, the nature of its slope and effects it has on the climate makes separate physiographic region. The eastern side of highland is demarcated because of escarpment. So, this eastern side of highland that is demarcated. Demarcated means divided by the highland. The eastern side of highland is demarcated because of escarpment. In this region, the altitude of escarpment is 790 meters. Here, the altitude of escarpment is 790 meters. Height of the escarpment is 790 meters. In some regions, the height decreases gradually. So, in region the height decreases. The escarpment is very steep, particularly from Sao Paulo to Porto Elric. Here we are having Sao Paulo to Porto Elric. So, here the uh, slope is steep. The escarpment acts as a barrier to the south trade winds, giving rise to the rain shadow area in the northeastern part. So, here we are having northeastern part. So, as I have told you, as the winds are coming from this direction, southeast direction, so winds ko ye escarpment ek barrier karke act karta hai. Winds ko aage nahi badne deta hai. So, jitna escarpment uncha hoga, to ye winds ko rise karna padega, winds ko upar jana padega. Jitna winds upar jayenge, to uske andar jo moisture hota hai, wo wahan, wahan de, de de So, there this region is getting more rainfall. So, this region is getting more rainfall as compared to the northeast region of highland. So, this region is having go, great, import, great important on the uh, climatic conditions of Brazil. And here we are having drought region. So this region is rain shadow area and northeastern part of the island. The region is uh, of the north, north is called as rain shadow area, so called as drought quadrilateral. Then we are having coastal region, coastal region of Brazil. Brazil is about 7400 kilometers. One may divide it into two coasts. First is northern coast, uh, northern coast and eastern coast. Uh, the northern coast extends from Ampara province to Rio de Granada So here we are having Ampara province. And here we are having De Norte. So from this region, from Ampara province to Rio de Granada de Norte, here we are having no northern coastal region, and rest of the is southern coastal region of Brazil. This is this can be called as North Atlantic coast. So here we are having North Atlantic Ocean. So this is called as North Atlantic coast, and here is the southern coast. Uh, from there, the eastern coast extends from south. The northern coast is characterized by mouth of many rivers, including Amazon. Therefore, this region is low-lying region. So, here we are having Amazon Basin. Amazon ka ye jo mouth hai, ye jo 
Marajo Island. This is the mouth of Amazon. So here we are having uh, the mouth of Amazon. There are many islands that are made by Amazon. So this is the coastal region of. It. So it is having uh, mouth of the river Amazon. Eastern coast receives large number of smaller rivers. So here we are having smaller rivers that are sending the water, that are adding the water to this uh, Atlantic Ocean. So here eastern coast is having small rivers as compared to the northern coast where we are having rivers like Amazon. The northern coast is characterized by mouth of many rivers including Amazon. In the southern coast we are having uh, small rivers, low lying area. On this coast lies the Marajo Island. So in the northern coast we are having Marajo Island. Marajo and Seo Marcos base. Marajo is the largest coastal island located between mouth of river Amazon and mouth of river uh, mouth of river Tocantins. So here we are having Marajo river uh, Marajo island that is one of the largest island that is river, uh, located in the mouth of river between mouth of river Amazon and mouth of river mouth of river Tocantins. The north the eastern coast receives large number of smaller rivers. So you, we have seen there are many smaller rivers. Only major river is uh, only ma major river is San Francisco river. That is meeting Atlantic Ocean. The Brazilian coast is characterized by large number of beaches and sand dunes. So there are a large number of beaches and sand dunes. Uh, the Brazilian coast is protected in small areas by coral reefs and atoll island. island. So this is the photograph of atoll island. The atoll islands are made by coral reefs. Corals are marine animals. So these marine animals are when they die, when they die, they live in colonies. So when they die, 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 they convert in a hard form. It is converting like a rock. So, this rocks ke island. Ban jate. So, these are atoll islands. So, these atoll islands are also found in India. They are found in Lakshadweep. They are found in Andaman also. In Brazil also, we are founding this atoll islands. So, we have seen Brazilian coast is divided into northern coast and eastern coast. So, northern coast, we, are, we have seen there are major rivers like Amazon River or we are having Marjo Islands. That is one of the biggest islands in this country. Here, we are having small rivers. Biggest river is uh, San Francisco River. Then we have then we will talk about plains of Brazil. The plains in Brazil are confined to two large areas, namely Amazon Basin. This is Amazon Basin. Amazon Basin का meaning होता है Amazon River जहाँ से flow करता है, Amazon River जहाँ से travel करता है. This is Amazon Basin. In the north and Paraguay Parana source region in southwest. So here we are having Parana River and Paraguay River. So ये Paraguay ये Paraguay और Parana River ने जो भी plain बनाया. River जब ये river जब ये अपने साथ जाती है, तो river sand, sediment, rocks, sub deposit karte jati hai. Whenever river is depositing this, then there are plains that are found in this area. So plain ban jata hai. So we, there are, they, in Brazil we are having two plains, Amazon plain or Amazon river basin and then Paraguay Parana river basin. Uh, the plain in Brazil are confined to largely two areas, uh, Amazon basin and Paraguay Parana basin. Amazon plains lying between two highlands uh, highlands from the largest, uh, largest plain land in Brazil. So there are two islands, Brazilian island and Guiana Highland. In this beach, the Amazon River Basin. It is one of the largest plain regions in the country. The Amazon Basin is quite wide in the west, about 1,300 kilometers. Here, the width of the Amazon Basin is 1,300 kilometers. And it is narrow eastward. So, here narrow is narrow. Here, you can see the width is more, the greenish region, the width is more, and here it is narrow. So, it is uh, narrow. Uh, the width is minimum between Guiana Highland. Uh, and Brazilian Highland come closer. So, here Guiana Highland or Brazilian Highland are close. Aate. So, here the width is 2040, uh, uh, sorry, 240 kilometers. As the river approaches the Atlantic Ocean, the width of the plain increases. So, here the plain ka width increases. Here the width is 1300 kilometers. Whenever this Guiana Highland and Brazilian Highland are meeting, here the width is 240 kilometers. Again, the width is increasing. They are mostly forested area and largely inaccessible due to frequent flooding and dense undergrowth. So here, these are Amazon rainforest. Amazon ka jo forest it is one of the biggest forests in the world. So it is largely inaccessible. Yahan hum andar tak nahi ja sakte kyunki floods hote hai. Ya fir wahan jana ke jane ke liye roads available nahi hai. Ya fir route available nahi hai. So it is largely inaccessible region. Uh, it is a uh, floods are always occurring in this region. Most of the Amazon plains are covered by tropical rainforest. Here we are having tropical rainforest. So here we are having tropical rainforest. So it is lying, Amazon river basin uh, is lying in uh, near equator region. So equator mein tropical rainfall hota hai. Hamesha rainfall hota hai hai. So here we are having uh, tropical rainforest or evergreen forest. The other plains in Brazil are located in the southwest part of the highlands. So here we are having other plains that are located in Paraguay, Parana river basin. 
दे फॉर्म अ सोर्स ऑफ पैरोगुआ पैरोगे एंड पैराना रिवर द सोर्स रीजन ऑफ पैरोगे स्लोप्स टूअर्स साउथ वाइल द सोर्स रीजन ऑफ पैराना स्लोप्स टूअर्स साउथ वेस्ट सो पैरोगे रिवर का जो स्लोप है ये इस तरफ है साउथ की तरफ है पैरागुए की तरफ है और पैराना रिवर का स्लोप है ये साउथ वेस्ट की तरफ है इस तरफ है नीचे पेंटनाल इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट वेटलैंड इन द वर्ल्ड सो दिस इज द लार्जेस्ट वेटलैंड ये स्वाम्पी जगह है या दलदल का एरिया है इट इज इट इज अ रीजन ऑफ स्वैम्स एंड मार्शेस इन नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न मैटो क्रॉस डो सुल इन ब्राजील सो दिस इज लोकेटेड इन द मैटो क्रॉसो डो सुल इन ब्राजील एंड इट इज एक्सटेंडेड इन टू अर्जेंटीना सो यूर इट इज एक्सटेंडिंग टू अर्जेंटीना so this swampy region so if you get a question which is a swampy region in brazil so remember the the name of the region is pantanal region then we are having high islands in brazil besides the mainland some islands are also included in brazil they can be classified into coastal islands and marine island so marine island are island that are located near the uh, located in the sea or that are called as marine island and then we are having coastal coastal region of brazil so there are two types of island coastal island and marine island most of the coastal island have formed due to deposition jab bhi river apna sand deposit karti hai so river mein jo sand hai rocks hai slate hai jab bhi deposit hota hai deposition ki wajah se wahan islands ban jate so we have seen there is one island called as uh, there is one island called as marajo island marajo island is because of depositional work of river amazon so amazon river ne deposit karne ke baad wahan marajo island bana hai More than 3,000 kilometers away from the Brazil uh, mainland in Atlantic Ocean, we are having marine island. So marine island are located in the uh, sea. These islands are mostly rocky and they are top of submerged mountain. So ये islands क्या है? ये mountain का mountain के ऊपर के part है. Mountain जो submerged होता है, समुद्र के बीच में mountain होता है. उसका topmost part जो हमें बाहर दिखता है, that is island. So this this islands are 300 kilometers away from Brazil. The island near the coast of South Atlantic Ocean are coral islands, and they are called they are called as atolls. In India, Andaman Nicobar Island or Lakshadweep Island are also coral island or atolls. Plana de Casino or Casino Beach is the most uh, southernmost beach of Brazilian coast on the South Atlantic Ocean. It is it considers it, it is considered to be the longest sandy beach in the world. It is continuous beach extending from more than two thousand two hundred kilometers. So two hundred kilometers long beach. Name of the beach is Casino Beach. 